Okay, so we're on to the Golden Wings uh, trophy. This is my first video on the first clip through on Galaxy uh, 17 bit of giving me, uh, well, the game for free and also give me five codes to give out to you guys. So uh, if you're interested in getting this game whatsoever, uh, jump on my, um, well, just click the subscribe button and also jump onto my Facebook page, um, which is uh, just General Gods Games. If you just search for it, you'll, you'll be able to pick it up. Uh, and just comment on the post I've got there and that will enter you into the uh, price draw obviously I need uh, you commenting on that just to be able to monitor uh, it properly um, if you do share it I'll p give you a double entry as well uh, but the price draw for that will be on Saturday the 27th so uh, two weeks time um, 14 days it should work out because uh, obviously Saturday was yesterday so the competition started yesterday and the, it's, uh, the, it's ended on Saturday the 27th just a little bit of a clip through obviously I've kept the, uh, all the contents in so you can read it and uh, have it going like so um, I think that if you saw, uh, click the X you can sort of skip the chat I didn't really try it too much um, but yeah it's just sort of adjusting your control showing you how to move around and stuff like that um, and the trophy you get is once you've completed the entire two uh, tutorial you'll be able to uh, achieve it um, at first I didn't even see that uh, three little dots at the side there uh, but you've got X to shoot um, obviously your left analog to move around uh, circles and missiles but that comes up later on um, R2's uh, to move and L2's to break uh, L2's reverse but if you click them both you'll break so if you're trying to slow down or anything like that I'd recommend just trying to do that um, but yeah, it, it, the controls are a little bit uh, different to sort of any game I'm used to. Um, so you, you, just got, you know, it's going to take me a bit of getting used to all in all. Um, but you know, you just sort of fly around. There's quite a bit of flying to do as well. At first, I thought this were an enemy that will fly around scanning. I think it, uh, it turns out it's just a sort of background image. I believe it is anyway, because um, it didn't do not to me. And obviously, you know, scanned me up a few times. I think that's just that another area. Just uh, make you know, trying to make the background not look as uh, boring. Um, R ones that should boost, so you can fly around uh, boosting through the entire clip. I've got this on double speed, so um, you know it might take you a bit longer to fly to where I'm trying to fly to. But it's just so you, you can try to get used to your controls. So it is a quite a slow build up. But there's good reason that it's a slow build up because otherwise, uh, you, you know, if you're quite fast, you just won't have a chance to get used to your controls whatsoever. Um, just sort of referring back to the. Uh, well, what I'm heading to here is just a sort of a asteroid with a well, a, t a tunnel in it, like a massive tunnel going through. Um, you just need to sort of fly through there, and it gets you, you, you know, to try to get a bit more used to your controls and um, you know, and avoiding walls and stuff like that. Uh, is what it's got it there for. Um, I did start getting a little bit more used to the controls, but again, still not perfected as such. Uh, I don't think the bubbles. There are some bubbles in here. I don't think they did anything as such. Um, but do avoid plants because. Uh, there's a little tip when you load the game um, saying that the, uh, all plants in space are hostile so I did try avoiding this plant completely um, and any other plants I saw, I saw in the asteroid systems now there's quite a few sort of throughout here, it's like sort of a mossy, uh, spa uh, mossy thing I'd say um, but the game is sort of like you, you know an arcade, well a classic arcade game I'd say it's, uh, you're sort of taking the idea of old arcade games and put it into a playstation so I don't think all the controls are uh, you, you, you like all the um, control buttons are utilised but there's plenty on here for you to be able to do different bits and bobs um, flying through here I think there's uh, some combat in a second or two I think it's just here actually here we go um, so we're just trying to get used to the shooting uh, I didn't you know want the best at it but uh, I'm sure that's going to improve as the game goes further on I also saw that the wolf breaking up in little bits and I didn't think you know I thought it'd best to collect them and see, or see if we could collect them. It's supposed to have just been little um, bits of waste. You know, normally you can uh, on other games you can collect stuff and it'll sort of build experience and stuff like that. So you've got a nice little map system as well. So you, you know, it shows the wideness of the map. Um, I'm assuming you can fly around and get quite a bit of distance. Uh, all in all, yeah, here you just fly through like another sort of tunnel, um, collects a lot of rockets, and then your rockets are back online, and then uh, you get shown a uh, is it three targets I think off the top of my head um, to go through and shoot them all at but again you know it, it does keep you with quite a bit of a different flying system but again that's just down to the fact uh, I think this is where I was trying to see if there were an option for sensitivity um, but there's not I can't remember if I check it again later or not because you know it feels like there should be but again you know it's a new game so I'm just trying to get used to it um, I did notice if you've already locked onto a target and you sort of move off it, the rocket should still go to them. Uh, you find that out in a second or two. Because I did try it and uh, it won't 
Not these three down here, they sort of split off before I've done them all. Um, they just try getting two next to each other, and then obviously a rocket went off to the other one, which one in the range at all, because I'd already locked on. Uh, which was, I thought that was quite useful, to be honest. Just uh, moving forwards and through, we're getting close to the end now. Um, there's just another sort of enemy which will guard in the uh, portal to beam you home. Um, so you just need to sort of dodge his uh, rockets and missiles and stuff, um, and just keep shooting him. And obviously once you've done that you can then get back to the uh, portal and uh, teleport back as you were meant to do. Uh, so j just out of first off, sort of um, straight out of perspective, it's not a bad game, it's going to take a bit getting used to I do reckon. Uh, but for what it is it seems pretty good, so do please enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, I appreciate the feedback and thank you for watching.